welcome to your own chemistry channel and today i am going to talk about bond dissociation energy and bond energy so friends we all know that energy is required to break bonds present in the molecules and this term bond dissociation energy is used for the diatomic molecules whereas the term bond energy is used for the polyatomic molecules and I, I will also explain during this video that both, the, both these terms can be used for the diatomic molecules whereas uh, the term bond energy is particularly used for the polyatomic molecules. Okay, so now let us define bond dissociation energy. So it is the amount of energy required to break one mole of the bonds of the diatomic molecules in gaseous state. And examples of diatomic molecules are H2, O2, N2 and hydrochloric acid. So let us explain bond dissociation energy with an example. So here we have taken the example of hydrogen molecules and in this uh, example one mole of the hydrogen molecules is dissociated into atoms. By one mole uh, we mean Avogadro number of molecules. Okay or in this reaction uh, Avogadro number of bonds will be broken. And the bond dissociation energy of this reaction will be equal to the energy absorbed during this reaction that is delta H. Why delta H? Because this reaction is carried out at constant pressure and energy absorbed or evolved at constant pressure is equal to delta H. And the value of uh, bond dissociation energy or delta H is equal to 436 kilojoule per mole understood so this 436 kilojoule per mole is the bond dissociation energy for the one mole of hydrogen molecule and uh, this word gaseous state is also very important in this definition because bond dissociation energy is the property of molecules and we will have individual molecules only in gaseous state in liquid or in the solid state the molecules are associated through strong forces of attraction Okay, now let us uh, explain bond energy, but before defining it, uh, let us understand it with the help of an example and I have taken the example of water molecule and in water molecules, the bond dissociation energies of the two OH bonds is different. Okay, so the first bond is uh, uh, broken in this manner and the bond dissociation energy is 497.8 kilojoule per mole. And the second bond uh, is uh, broken in this fashion and the bond dissociation energy is 428.5 kilojoule per mole. Then the bond energy of the single OH bond will be equal to the average of two different bond dissociation energies that is 497.8 plus 428.5 divided by 2 equal to 463.2 kilojoule per mole. Understood. So I can say that the bond energy of the one OH bond is the average of two different bond dissociation energies of the OH bonds. So let us define the bond energy now. The bond energy for a polyatomic molecule is the average amount of energy required to break one mole of the bonds of particular type in the gaseous state. Okay, so this is uh, this bond energy is the average amount of uh, energy of different bond dissociation energies of the bonds of similar kinds present in a molecule. So it is the average value and bond dissociation energy it has exact value or the definite value because uh, here there is no need to take average as only one bond is present uh, amongst the diatomic molecules. Here we have one single bond, here we have one triple bond, here one double bond and hydrogen molecules also have one single bond. That's why we, uh, we say that the bond dissociation energy has definite or exact value. So let us write that it has definite or exact value. Further, so in this case, the bond uh, energy uh, and the bond dissociation energy are same. That is for diatomic molecules, bond energy is equal to the bond dissociation energy. Whereas in case of polyatomic molecules, the 
bond energy is not equal to the bond dissociation energy it is equal to the average of different bond dissociation energies understood that's why the both terms bond dissociation energy and bond energy can be used for the diatomic molecules whereas this term bond energy will be particularly used for the polyatomic molecules understood so now let us discuss that how do we calculate the bond energies so friends the bond energies for the polyatomic molecules are calculated with the help of the enthalpies of formation okay whereas the bond energies for the heteronuclear molecules heteronuclear molecules means the molecules uh, heteronuclear diatomic molecules so heteronuclear diatomic molecules means that the molecules in which uh, the combining atoms are different that is the hcl the two atoms are different hf so these are the heteronuclear molecules whereas h2 o2 n2 these are the homonuclear molecules so the bond energies of heteronuclear molecules are either calculated experimentally or from the bond energies of homonuclear diatomic molecules and the bond energies of homonuclear diatomic molecules are calculated experimentally okay and i will explain the calculations of bond energies with the help of suitable numerical problems uh, in my upcoming videos okay so please keep watching my videos like and share my videos and subscribe my channel thank you very much